What am I doing? I'm just gonna stay in this corner. Come out to play Duggies. Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? I'm still flabbergasted that I got the scrolls last week. What? Wild. I can't wait to, to bring that to um Gunther. Finally be able to talk to our dwarf boy. Also, y'all said that, or someone commented that you can't befriend you can't gain hearts with the dwarf until you have the dwarf scroll so all of those gifts were for not which is fine i guess it's fine I, I love him also you know what that thing is behind me you know what that that thing is right there guess what it is it's my steam deck it's so fun i haven't um done a lot with it yet but i did play power wash simulator and that was really fun the time of my life truly Okay, so since I have no use for the Omni Geos anymore, do I save them? Do I save them to buy things with at the desert? Me tinks so. Also, I got a new mic. I can't talk about it yet because I I think it's still under embargo and I'm just <laughs> I wasn't too closely paying attention in the meeting, clearly. So I don't know when the embargo is lifted to where I can actually talk about it. But it's exciting, new mic, I get to try it out. Y'all y'all get to give me some feedback. I'm sure it'll sound pretty similar. Like I think they're kind of on the same, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, I was gonna update my shed. I have no space for anything. No space for anything. Why, are, why, oh, the boots can't stack, huh? Okay, I guess I'll save my geodes too, I guess. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go upgrade our shed. And it's Tuesday, so I can't go to Robin's, so I can't do that. I can't upgrade my shed, so I'll just go to Animals and then I'll go to Gunther. Then maybe I should go to Ginger Island. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I was having, I was kind of having fun without uh, Ginger Island. Maybe I'll focus on, maybe I'll focus on the monster hunting tasks. Even though that's literally the last thing I want to do in the world, it'll be easy. So I should do it, but I don't want to. But I should, but I don't want to. Oh my God, I just had a meeting rescheduled. Oh my God. I'm so excited. It's this like standing meeting that I have. I dread it every time it comes up. Every time it comes up because it's just like, I'm like worried that the person would find this, but I don't think they ever would. <laughs> It's just like, I don't, it's not helpful. It's kind of meant to be helpful. It's not. And so we kind of like sit there twiddling our thumbs. Sometimes it feels like they like create a like problem to solve and that stresses me out. And oh, it's just not fun. It's not fun. I don't like it. And that's that. <laughs> that's that on that. How did my stuff fill up so fast? What the hell? Um. Anyways, got rescheduled. So my day. Like, I cannot tell you the amount of joy that's in my heart right now. I, there are very few things that make me this happy. A rescheduled meeting that I don't, that I was not looking forward to. <laughs> There's nothing better. There's nothing better. I cannot wait for the rest of today. I saw this TikTok and it was like, just got off work in my bed um, with a Colleen Hoover book and my $5 sushi from Sprouts and like something Gilmore Girls on the TV. And it was just like the cutest, coziest little thing. I'm definitely going to uh, make an inspired TikTok from it, but cozy gaming related. And I like, it just touched my soul and I'm like, that's going to be me tonight. It's going to be me tonight. I'm going to get all my stuff done early so that what am I doing? What am I doing? So that I can just be her tonight. All right. I'm going to be her tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live my my simple simple joys for tonight. Maybe some activity books. Maybe some color. Oh, <gasps> speaking of coloring books, where the hell is it? Shoot, I don't know where it is. Damn it. I think I've talked. I have. I've talked about Bobby's Goods coloring books before, and just her art in general. I love it. I'm obsessed. What? Oh my god! I didn't even know that who was right there. I thought I hopped onto the back of a cow. Anyways, I finally got one of her coloring books. It is so freaking cute, y'all. It's adorable. It's 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 life changing. It's glorious. And the thing with me though now is that I don't want to color in it. It's so cute. I don't want to color in it. I feel like I'm gonna ruin it if I color in it because it's just it's just it's too cute. And there's like such a small amount of like stock of them, and I just <sighs> I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. I think I might just I don't know hoard it. I, I can't do that. How about 
you spawn? How about you spawn? No? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't need you anyway. Oh my god. Were there any of these guys that I needed? There's some- some of the suns are in here, right? Oh my god. These things are terrible. Holy crap. Stop it. You're hurting me. I kind of need to chill out though. Yes! I kind of need to chill out because I'm truly living on a prayer here with my health. Come out to play, doggies. I want you. No. That's okay. That's okay. A thousand slimes is so many slimes. I just- let's just think about that, okay? Just take a little think. Take a little moment. Everybody think about a thousand things. Think about a thousand things. Think about having to- to sort. Oh my god. Oh my god. Think about having to sort a thousand, like, skittles. It's a lot of skittles. It's not a small amount of skittles. Now imagine killing that many slimes. No. Not in my lifetime. And yet here I am doing just that. All right, I would like to either go or go down. Can I do either one of those things, please? No. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I have so many updates, y'all. First update, my new car. I, I ended up getting a new car. I did. I finalized that. Got a new car. Love it. It's weird. It's weird having new things. I don't do like big purchases like that. They scare me. So that was weird, but I love it. It's great. It's super nice. 10 out of 10. I don't think I'll say exactly which car it is just because I don't know. What if I have like a stalker? You never know. What if I have a stalker and they're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find every one of those cars. You know, you never know. I love it. That's fun. And then I went to PAX and that was fun. I hung out with Alyssa from TT Inventory and her husband Thomas and I love them. They're my parents. They're my mom and dad. I love them so much. And we just like hung out at PAX. I did the panel. It was really nice. And are my pockets full? No. Keep picking, girl. The PAX was genuinely so fun. Like if you can, if you are a gamer enough to have watched 80 some episodes of this damn playthrough, then I think that you would really like PAX because you're a geek. All right. When we're all geeks and there's so many like geeky things to geek out on. Yeah, it was just cool. They had a tabletop section, which was cool. I wasn't expecting that. I know it's getting late. Let me just, let me just fill these up real quick. They had a tabletop section and they had like a D&D, &D, not tournament, but just like a D&D &D session going on, I guess. That was cool, but I didn't get to see it. I couldn't find it. Yeah, they just had like areas for people to play tabletop games and that was fun. And then just like the main gaming area was so cool, y'all. It was so cool. They had all these like booths and activations for like all the different, they have like all the main ones like Nintendo, Sega, da 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 But then they had a bunch of indie games, like Whitethorn was there and I was freaking out. By my Myself, granted because the first day I was just exploring by myself but I was just like taking pictures I saw like potion permit which I don't know what studio potion permit is but they had the coolest setup it was like this little these little like poofs on the ground it was all like candles and stuff it was so cute so they had like potion permit they had I think it's called like fin fingy games which is like night in the woods and tunic and i was a teenage exocolonist and whitethorn of course y'all know like calico like some of my favorites which would what else did they have the i don't the studio that does mail time they were there um the studio that does on some master was there the studio that does um, Coffee Talk, they had the Coffee Talk 2 demo was there, Mineko's Night Market was there, and they just had all, like, they just had demos available, it was so cool, ugh, I loved it, um, and Alyssa and I played, ooh, yay, I learned how to make shrimp, finally, what is Vincent like, let's get him something, I ignore his birthday every year, oh, I don't have my phone, oh, I have a, I have a whole computer right here, I have it. An entire computer at my disposal. West Hunt. West Hunt's the game. I don't know if you've seen like TikToks or anything on it, but it's the game where you're some one person's a sheriff and one person's a outlaw. But as an outlaw, you're just pretending to be the NPC. So there's like a bunch of NPCs walking around a map, like doing different tasks. And as the outlaw, you're given tasks to do. And so you're trying to do those tasks without seeming like you're a sentient player human behind the, the NPC. And so as a sheriff, you only get one shot with your gun. You only get one shot and you pick who you think is the outlaw. I was the sheriff. I picked correctly. I, 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 I sussed Alyssa out. It was very fun. I think that's in like early access or something right now. But highly recommend to play with someone. It's really fun. 
trying to think anything else I played. I played a little bit of Mail Time, which I hadn't played before. I don't think Disney was there, which was interesting because I would have thought they would have been like heavily marketing Disney Dreamlight Valley, but they were not there. He loves cranberry candy. Buddy boy, I think I have that for you right here. I do, yay. Yeah, y'all, it was just really fun. So I don't think I finished the thought earlier, but if you are into games enough to watch this playthrough, as long as you've watched it, I think you would love going to PAX. They have an East Coast PAX and a West Coast PAX, go. And then they have, so they have, okay, the tabletop section and a bunch of tabletop like expo areas. They have the main gaming section, a bunch of expo areas. They have like fan gamer there. They're selling a bunch of like cool stuff and just like, experiences and then they have this is the part i didn't expect to like as much as i did they have like tournaments going on like pro gamer tournaments they had a smash one going on which Alyssa and thomas and i got like super into they had a smash tournament going on it was like the almost pros division or something i don't know <laughs> what am i doing what am i doing just sorting it's okay chill out where are my rocks i need rocks i need rocks yeah, so they had tournaments and it was so like people get so so into it and I just like I don't know for some reason I just never fully spent time thinking about the fact that like people genuinely play video games for a living. Hey yo, even though I do it too. Not for a living, but part of my living. Being a content creator around gaming, I was never like, hmm, let's let's think for a second about people actually playing games pro and it's so interesting and there's like announcers for it and the announcers are like super into like really know their history of like each person and, and like the teams and stuff it's wild like if you ever have a chance to watch like i'm i think they're on just like regular channels i don't know um but if you ever have a chance to watch maybe on like twitch they stream sometimes do it for a game that you like care about a little bit like at least a little bit like super smash or like mario kart like something that like you kind of get so interesting and like so exciting and the one that we were at we were in like the last like the 35 the last 35 brackets before the final they were just like these two amazing play like every player against playing against each other was like amazing when i was watching the first day they were kind of like and eh, there was one that was like amazing and one that was like obviously really good but not like crazy and so those matches were like pretty quick. But these ones, it was like, they were long and they were just like all this crazy like technique happening. There was one match. It was the game, the game game, the game match. There's another community upgrade. What? Wait, what is the other community upgrade? Oh, the shortcuts. 300 gold. I don't think I need that yet. I don't need that yet. Let's, let's, let's do this. Um, yay. So these two really good players playing for a while. It was the game match. They KO'd each other at the same time. Like it just, I didn't, I didn't totally know the significance, but it was still crazy to watch. But the announcers were like freaking the fuck out. They were like, I've never seen this in my however many years of announcing and da 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 da. It was just like excited. Like everyone in the crowd was screaming and freaking out. And it was, it was so cool. It was like the first time I understood sports. You know, I was like, what sports? I, st I still kind of feel that way about sports because it's like, what is this? At least a game, there's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> sports just, I don't get it. I got it for the first time. I was like, okay, I see. I see the appeal of like tournament-y type things. Very cool. That was fun. I'm trying to think if there's anything else like actual at the at the convention the panel is really nice um i got to meet um jenny who is Ki kimichi kimicha i forget her username and alex who's a dev for i think spirit swap and it was just so fun it was really nice they were really cool to talk to we just talked about cozy games and then i got to meet a uh, cozy mickey and that was genuinely one of the top highlights of my entire weekend because i love mickey so much i love mickey i raid mickey all the time in my streams and if you don't know raiding is just like everybody you send everybody in your stream over to somebody else's stream if they're streaming mickey is always streaming kind of at the same time as me like a little bit after and so i always stream mickey because i love mickey mickey has the best vibes at the stream and it was so nice it was like a surprise 
nice to meet them because I we didn't know each other were gonna even be there. So that was fun. And then uh, Alyssa and Thomas walked me around Seattle for a bit and we ate and chatted and it was really fun. And I don't know if I talked about it last week, but our collection is officially out and I will put it in the description. I'm sure you've already seen it because I've been sharing a ton on my socials, but Alyssa, I think Alyssa said that like, that it was like a record of how many sales they've had. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, us cozy gamers really showed out. Uh, but I just, ugh, I love the designs. I'm excited for y'all to see them if you haven't already. I'm excited for us to be twinsy twins and some of the designs. Um, yeah, so I think those are all my official updates. <laughs> That's all of them. I'm just gonna stay in this corner. Please, please spare me. Well, come on then. I'm gonna do all that squeaking and not come. Come on. I need some bat numbers in my under my belt. Oh my god, Vince's birthday. I gotta go. Where is he? I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know who I'm apologizing to. The bats? They don't want me there. I'm killing them. Let's go. See, this is why. I just forget. I forget he exists every time. I'm sorry, Vincent. I'm trying to be your friend, I promise. Okay, so he wouldn't be probably in the house because it's raining, right? Let me in. There he is. Here's your little cranberry doodad thing. No. You're so welcome. I so f don't care about you, but you're a kid. Okay, I feel like I should focus on crafting or cooking. Or I, I'm, ugh, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. There's too many goals for my brain to handle. There's too many. Okay, I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna go back to the mines and I'm gonna focus on the most attainable goal first, which I already forgot, of course. What is it? I think the bats. The bats are the most attainable. Skeletons. No. Duggies. I only need eight more duggies. That feels like a lot. Okay. Bats is the most attainable. So I'm going to go bats first. So what are they? Like level, what was I at? Like 35? 35 to 40 bats. Okay. Come out to play bats. And when they say skeletons, do they mean, do they mean those ro the rock ones or just the, oh, come on. I needed at least 20. That was one. Come on. Two. Yes. Come on. Come at me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. All right, we'll just get them in here. And we'll get the dust sprites too. Was that a bat? Did you hear that? Seven. Or did I already do seven? I don't know, besties. I'm not confident. I am not confident. <gasps> come on, come on. There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eight. It's bleak out here. It's bleak. Okay, I'm getting that bat achievement today. That's happening. And by today, I mean like in this playthrough that we're doing. Oh, uh, I think I neglected my animals yesterday. Thank you, wizard. Ooh, battery pack, nice. Hi, mushroom trees. Uh oh. They're mad at me. Zero hay. Zero hay. Whose fault is that? Can't be mine. As I always say, can't possibly be mine. Doesn't sound like something I'd ever do. Does that sound like me, you guys? I don't think so. I don't think so. So much milk. Alright, let's get these suckers some hay. Where's Pooh? No, it's better for me to buy grass starter, right? What is a squid kid? I'm going down there anyways. I just don't know what a squid kid is. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is a squid kid? Ugh, okay, let's go see if Marnie's at the th shop, which she probably won't be because she never is. But we'll just go see if she is. She won't be, but maybe for once. Oh, wow. All right. Oops, didn't mean to. I feel like at this point, everybody has figured out how to just have millions and millions and millions, and I have not. I've yet to figure that out. I don't think I'm focusing on the right things. I think I could, I could be having a lot more ancient fruit wine. Could, could and should probably just be selling it as is instead of in the casks. However, I don't care. However, I'm enjoying the process this way. Okay. Where's Pooh? I know. <sighs> there we go. Okay. You already know what time it is. It's bedtime. It's time for the beds. 
Hey, what are what are the squids? Remember that? Remember that weird request? What is that? Oh, now the bats are scared. They're afraid, aren't they? <gasps> Yay! Monster, which one did I slay? The bat one? I guess so. Couldn't have been the slime one. Okay, well, since we did the bat one, let us try and find the squid. Which I'm guessing... Oh, uh, let me, hold on. Let me just look it up. <gasps> Ew, why do they look like that? Okay, 81 to 100. I'm just gonna go to 100. It's the weird, it's the weird guys. The weird round guys. <gasps> These guys, yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Yay, I did it. Okay, let me leave because I'm suffering. Who am I supposed to talk to the wizard? Okay. Gain a little health every time you slay a monster. That's a fun one. I appreciate that one. What do I have now? Ruby increases in attack? Hell no. Give me this one. Frick, yeah. Okay, so I think that was the bats. That was the bats, okay. I think Duggies. Duggies and Dust Sprites. I need 50 Dust Sprites and I need eight Duggies. I think Duggies is the more, the best bet. One, two, three, four, five. This technique is working. Six, come on, come on. All right, I'll go to the next floor. I'll play along, nope. I'm leaving and coming back. It just works, doesn't it? Why fix what I ain't broke? Oh, they gave me one with no enemies. I didn't want to break one. I wanted one with Duggies. Thanks, though. All right. Let's try this again. Seven. Come on, one more. We literally need one more, I think. I feel like the game has sussed me out. It gets, it gets the game that I'm going for. Come on. I just need one more. I'm not making it. I'm not going home till I get it. I swear. There's got to be like a limit or something. There's got to be like a limit to the amount of times. Come on, come on, come on. It's got to be in this one. Just give me one before I go. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. This is a joke. This is a joke. A joke and I am the punchline. Let's go home. Hi, Pooh. Come on. Let's go. I'm uh, upset. Can you tell? You ever try mixing a drink while it's on your mouth? <laughs> so you don't simply have to close the cap. I will get a Dougie. That's the last thing I do. It's a new day. Just let me win. Let me win this. Let me win this. This game really said I'm gonna hide. Oh! Yes! Oh my god. Finally. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I don't even think this opens. 2 p.m. Alright, let's go to the quarry. See what's good over there. I guess I could be doing dust sprites. I could be- I could get 50 dust sprites. What is that, 45? Count them, one. Now they wanna give me no dust sprites and all the bats. Back when I was looking for bats, there was all the dust sprites. I was a fool. I was a fool to think that we could do this. I hear some, I hear some. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hear more. Nine. My goal, I guess, will just be to get 10 per day. If I do that for four more days after this, the next four days, we're good to go, friends. So we got 10. I don't see any, so let's go. Hard hat? I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. I got a little hard hat. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, we have, we actually only need 42. We only need 42. Oh, that's literally what I said already, I think. No, we would have need, needed 50. Okay, I actually need two more. So 42, so we need to do 10 for four days plus two. I think we're gonna do that. That sounds doable to be. I'm gonna go to the traveling cart. I'm gonna attend to my animals. Actually, I'm gonna attend to my animals first. Nice, all right. Sprint to the traveling cart because I think it leaves at seven. Hope there's nothing there that I need. Battery pack, hey -o. Salmon, maybe. Nope, oh, don't have room. I feel like I could use some salmon, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Cool. Thanks, girly pop. You were helpful today. Oh my god, you know what memory like just popped into my head? Early days, <laughs> early days of this playthrough of my channel in general. YouTube gaming had me as like a featured creator. I don't even know if YouTube gaming is still a thing if they're still like doing things like that but youtube gaming had me as a feature creator that meant that like a ton of people who like wouldn't naturally watch my stuff 
were like shown me and watched my stuff. And most of the videos I had at the time were Stardew playthroughs because I was doing them every, once a week and I was doing other videos once a week. But most of the videos I had to show for were Stardew playthrough videos. So they're watching those. That's why like in some of the early ones I have like, you know, 20K or 30K or something views on it because of YouTube gaming. Thanks, YouTube gaming. But so many people like commented mean comments. And at the time I just like deleted them because I was like, I'm not dealing with this. I think nowadays I'd probably leave the mean comments so that you guys could like, you know, back me up. But back then no one was backing me up. Right. So I was like, this is mean. I just deleted it. But I still remember one of the comments was like, keep your day job. Imagine commenting, imagine commenting that on someone's YouTube channel, sir. And also all of the, all of the mean comments were men, of course. They're just like, I don't understand why anyone would watch this. It's like, well, it's not for you then, is it, buddy boy? We have therapy sessions here. I don't think you even know how to spell therapy. But anyways, I remember like looking at that comment, deleting it and being like, you know what? I'm gonna prove that comment wrong, but I'm never gonna like give it any kind of light. Like I'm not gonna keep it around so that I could come back to it and you know, like make a TikTok. Like, look, I showed them wrong. I'm now making a, a TikTok off of, I mean, I'm making a living off of doing this. I don't, fuck that dude. But it's so funny. <laughs> it's funny that I can, I can personally feel vindicated and now y'all can share in that vindication. That's it. I just, that literally just popped into my head for some reason and it made me very happy. Ha ha, dude. Ha ha. <laughs> I wish, are y'all people who are fueled by like negative things or are you only fueled by positive things? Cause it depends for me. I'm only fueled by negative things. Like I'm not fueled by that. To me, that just like, I'm not going to be fueled by an external, f like trying to prove something to somebody ever, ever. I'm only fueled by trying to prove something to myself. Like I thought I could do this, so I'm going to prove that I can do it type of thing. But I can be fueled by like someone's disappointment in me, like somebody that I care about. If they're like, damn, you could have done better. Ooh, boy, does that hurt. Ooh, boy, does that trigger the, the, uh, you know, conditional love and, uh, love based on su successes from childhood wounds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's what does fuel me. So like in terms of negative things, if someone's like, I'm disappointed in you. Ooh, that'll fuel me. The, the thought of like criticism, the thought of criticism from people I care about, anticipating that, that fuels me. Other than that, it's usually like my own, like I can do this. Like I want to do this. That fuels me and motivates me. I, I know that there are a lot of people who are fueled by like hate, like my haters are my motivators. I'm, I don't like, I just, it gets repressed, you know? And I have nothing to prove to that person because they're hating because they are clearly at a place in life where they feel the need to go out of their way to comment on. If you were doing well in life, you would not be commenting on someone's video or whatever, whatever. Anyways, great way to end this. <laughs> Let me know how you, um, like how your motivation works. Because I feel like how your motivation works and why. Because I wonder like if my disappointment motivators are fueled by like childhood traumas, right? I wonder if you are somebody who is fueled by like haters. If you could unpack and explain why, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it because that's very interesting to me. That's it. Let's do Cozy Corner. I don't have my phone. I'll be back. Ugh. Okay, so for Cozy Corner, I'm so excited. There's the cutest pictures Ever. So Cozy Satu Games. Oh, stop it. This is so cute. This is the cutest picture I've ever seen. Adorable. I love this background. I mean, y'all will see it. It's adorable. Thank you for tagging Cozy Cor Corner. And <gasps> Buki. Oh my gosh. Thank you for tagging Cozy Corner. This little pic from Buki. Hi. Good to see you in Cozy Corner. <laughs> and let's see. Who is the cozy friend of the week? Do, 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 do. Mars Exo Games posted a little video watching the Cozy Games for your mental health threat. You're the best. Thank you so much. Love that. Love you. Um, don't know if you watched this playthrough, but we're appreciating all of the cozy friends of the week, no matter what you're watching. Okay. 
And it's Screech was also watching that video. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also, if you, I don't, I'm sure, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of you probably watch my main channel videos and not just this one, but I did post one that I'm very proud of the mental health rep video. I um, just put together a bunch of games that I think are really helpful for you for when you're going through a rough time, rough mental health time. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Okay. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.